split from each other like this. Dude, you have been useless at protecting people so far. <laughs>
see how I can win this. <laughs> a lot of injuries. <laughs> Oh, 
are gonna make it through. Just a couple people are gonna be <laughs> grievously injured. going really poorly for a bit there. Well, I mean, it didn't exactly go great. Three people got injured. <laughs> No problem getting the dredge to follow. Things begin to look dicey, but you're eventually able to lose them in thick woods. Yeah, things did look a little dicey. Climb to an overlook and wait for the caravan to appear. Or later, Oddleaf is the first to spot them. There. She points to the road as you rejoin them. Tell there was trouble, some people wounded, others missing. Her husband gonna die. Fool. Oh. Let's hand from me and your own. them together. Rally the caravan with the speech. We can't stop. I don't have food for us to stop. Fight for every step. Remember those who didn't make it and push onwards. to hold them together. Expect we'll lose two for every slag we take down. 
So we run. Going to have to fight, and there are going to be deaths. <laughs> Think of how I feel. I'm stuck nursing a bunch of weaklings. Men are a plague on this world worse than any dredge, as far as I can tell. Chats like this are why we get along so well. You sleep poorly, the sun forever stuck to an eternally bright sky. Before the others rise, you find yourself staring over long, low hills covered in pine. The godstone looms overhead, the massive eyes of Hid... Hid... Hridvaldir? Hridvaldir, <laughs> looking the same direction as you. I'm gonna go with Hridvaldir. <laughs> Inspect the stone. But it's stone, doesn't see many visitors. Not much reason to travel so far east. When hunters come through, they sometimes stop to give offerings. Out of habit more than anything else, now that the gods are dead. Hridvaldir was the god of hunters and of wild beasts, occasionally seen roaming the land as both man and wolf. He was always depicted in effigy with his terrible spear. Wonder what he'd think about his woods being full of dredge now. Thank you for saving my mama. Too bad the necklace doesn't help us kill dredge. Jarkin room. We've seen the dredge in your wake, so we don't wish to meet them alone. Let us join you, we'll show you a watering hole with enough animals to fill those supply wagons. Inherent fear of strangers raises mutters from the care. We can't afford to be afraid of strangers at the moment. Cautiously join your ranks, improve trustworthy. The hidden watering hole nearby is teeming with animals and soon your supplies are nicely restocked. Got like four extra days out of that. <laughs> During a rest, one of the men get too drunk and end up splashing me in a warrior's face. A brawl erupts, many thrown fists, and a broken bone later, the instigator, Rothensvarder, Rothensvarder, is tossed on the ground at your feet. Angry clansmen looking for satisfaction. His personal defense is little more than drooling mumbles. Of course, a public apology, tie him up until he dries out. Laugh off the scuffle, encourage the others to let the issue drop. He should apologize. We need unity in these times of strife. Ruffins farters. Neck. You force him to look at the crowd. Apologize for this mess. and fresh supplies. Locals here are shocked by the news you bring and discuss it amongst themselves while you set up nearby. Hooray. One renown gets three supplies. 
that universal or will that change kind of depending on where I am, I wonder. Uh, we need enough to get through two weeks, I believe. Well, not quite. Well, it doesn't hurt to have extra at this point. A couple of extra days supplies certainly can't hurt if we can afford it. Are these heavy ones soaked with blood and sweat, but a little bit of padding can be the difference between life and death. One armor. One movement, 10%. Dodge, strength, attacks. Horse score. It's horseshoes. <laughs> Serpent earrings. 10% dodge, strength, attacks. Shoes made from the hooves of horseborn have long been rumored to make one faster, if not cold hearted. Alright, let's confirm all of that. Uh, what do you have to say? Eagle. Yeah, I'm great. Er, not great. <laughs> I'm great, but not. If you want, just call me Gil. Okay, Gil. I just can't see that without thinking of Final Fantasy every time. <laughs> Want to let you know that I meant what I said before, but making sure nothing happens to Alette. She or he likes her. He wants to see her naked. I know what you meant. Yeah, he meant he wants to see her naked. Solid metal. So you've been carrying that thing since you were a kid? It shouldn't you be beefier? Pretty good with it now. Ah, uh, your parents are dead. Poor guy. Give you a little confidence boost. Everyone says you're good. Back to camp. So one item per character, okay. Oops. Okay, the 
this is the movement and dodge. So let's give that to. Oh, okay, I see. There's required levels down here. I got it. I follow. Oh, that's the item rank thing. Okay. Yes, I will promote for five renown. Um, let's just straight, because I think he is the strongest archer I have, so let's just milk that. Oh, you can equip an item from here, too. 15% dodge strength attacks. Sure, put it on. Okay, she does not have enough to promote. He does. Promote for five renown. Get his armor break maxed out. Seems like a good thing to be doing early, I think, maybe. Okay, I can't level this dude at all. So let's go ahead and level her as well. And max out the break. And let's max out her actual armor. Hogan. My brother is Morgan. Many from the village wish to join you in Frostveller. Exuding rage. These bastards don't speak for us. Divide the village between the smart people who are like, the tide of war is coming and we need to get the fuck out, and the idiots who are like, hey, we can just defend and stay, it'll be fine. <laughs> you can keep whoever wants to stay and die. The rest of us will go with the reasonable people of Skogar. Have you both got it before I let half of why? Just let us go. Why do you have to be a dick about it, dude? Some of us aren't as dumb as you. Why why do we have to suffer? There won't be anything to tend once the judge arrives. Let your people decide on their own. You want nothing to do with this or say nothing. There won't be anything to tend once the judge arrives. 
dredge my ass. Get back to work where I'm finally okay. You sound more like a fucking slave master kind of asshole than a town leader. Hogan draws his axe slowly, followed by Hogan. These dudes need to leave. This guy is an idiot if he's trying to defend against the dredge and stay in this village. Hogan and Mogan. The twins. at one strength or armor each last hit adds plus one for each adjacent ally I like the sound of that Unexpected. Not in a place where you are welcome.
brothers went down. It's no bueno. Dive through for me. That flail is nasty. Soon, many of the villagers have joined the caravan. Skin around anxiously for Alette, who had gone missing when the fighting began. She just ran away. <laughs> Hundred and sixty-five clansmen, twenty-two fighters, ten renown, thirty supplies. Awesome, they came with supplies. How nice of them to not be useless. Happened to sweet of Skogar. Come find me another time, Rook, and we'll talk. Are you chieftain now? It would appear so. Sown the story of the families who have lived in Skogar throughout the years, just as is done on every banner in every town. A section of banner about your family is short, but Alette has been sewing in colorful designs. Why did you have to kill those men? Because they were being stupid. <laughs> to the detriment of everyone that they're supposed to be in charge of and helping. <laughs> mm. 
I don't want to kill a person, please. might have to, but I am glad that you don't want to kill people. It is generally a good urge to not have. <sighs> but in this world, you very well may have to. The story of Skoger is your burden now. I think Rook might be the only one we can actually permit out of that anyway. Let's go ahead and get his armor break maxed out. Yep. And since he can take those, and he's the only one who can wear them right now, we'll give him those. And we'll put that on him. Let's have a chat. What an odd nickname, Odd. <laughs> How are you doing, Odd? People tell me I'm a strong woman. people look up to you. I don't want to be known for handling my feelings. Your family, you should carry it. What would you have done? Why me? Why me? It should be mine. I could carry it. But I thought about why he named you. I won't follow a woman. Well, that's some bullshit. I think they would follow you. This isn't the time for pretend. First time someone thinks they can take advantage of, the, of us, we kill them. That's, that's what happens.
Banner ends here anyway. Alright. We have good morale. People aren't injured too badly. Let's keep a move on. Stop to speak with you, each carrying a single pack. You recognize this place from that sense. Spent several years here with some They're we still around, we have to warn them of what's coming here. We'll find you again in less than a week. People are free to do as they please. This is a free caravan. Raise your voice for everyone here. We all make decisions for ourselves and our families. We're all free to do what we must. So they're gonna come back anyway. Rothen's Farter's success in drinking has resurfaced. Rothen's Farter, you're becoming a problem. Fire nearly setting a supply wagon aflame. Clansmen put out the fire on both the wagon and Russ. Russ and Ruffin's Varder's leg before leading me to you. Punish him physically. Ban him from camping near others in the future. This man drinks nothing but water from now on. Ruffin's Varder groggily agrees. Sling his way through promises to quit. Such a nuisance. Many of the onlookers snort and roll their eyes, but go back to their business. Somehow you doubt it'll be long before Rough and Starter manages to find another drink, whether you'll allow it or not. I don't want to just like beat the guy down. That seems really horrible. <laughs> Trash. It's Rough and Starter. Unabashed drunk, staggering towards you, looking not entirely sober. He screams again, pointing to trees in the distance. He erases the caravan, spiders pull their weapons, scout returns with no sightings. Furious men surround Roth and Sparter. I'm not gonna let them kill him. <laughs> But you were banished, sir. <laughs> the man's meager belongings and food are thrown in a pile as everyone moves on. He's tied loosely to a tree. I expect he'll break his bonds eventually once he sobers up. Please, I swear! Please, to your back, finally realizing his plight. Whether it is dredge, or imagined or not, you don't expect to see him again. Minus one clansman. Minus the most annoying clansman. Once a strong, thriving city, the walls of Frostvetter now just keep the howling winds at bay. With luck, they'll hold out against Dredge as well. through fellow crowds of sunken faces who appear as though they've been freezing in front of Frostvalor for days. Gates are closed. Come to a stop at the bottom of the hill. This isn't looking good. Can't stay outside in the open like this. No one's being let into the city. Run with Varl from Lotsbulker, Greyhorn, people from Bitra, all the new villages. The dredger everywhere. Chief Frostfuller has locked himself in his great hall. What a pansy.
Uh, I want to know more about what's going on in there. Before we start breaking down gates. <laughs> I wasn't going to break it, just push really hard. Gotcha. Plus two will on rest. Plus two armor on rest. That's handy. It's like you can bring, get armor back during battle, I guess. Gifted healer. Protects from death unless strength is one. of the items available here. Body space in front of the door, several pincushion bodies lie unclaimed as though they simply belonged there. Archers up on the walls make it clear that nobody will be getting in. Men and women below inter intermittently call for mercy and reason. They're not flinging stones and curses. <laughs> Shout at the guards on the wall. Let's find out more from the crowd. You spend an hour talking to different people who will all have the same story. A couple days ago, the chieftain shut himself in, closed the gates, and refused any more refugees. They've got huge stores of supplies in there, too. That's one man. They're just hoarding them. Dicks. Eel pulls you aside. I was following the outside of these walls, he says. And there's a water passage we can squeeze through, I think. Not the whole caravan, but if a handful of us get in, we might open the gates from the inside. Well, that sounds promising. Let's check out the water passage. I'm not fitting through there, says Ivo. Arrive at the narrow ducks. Go without me. Looks like it'll get you on top of the walls and then down to the gate where you can open it. Wait for us. We'll be quick. Gil said water, you should have guessed runoff. Still, you managed to squeeze your way through tight stonework and then force your way past an iron gate. Take stairs to the top of the walls as you approach the gates. Armed men take notice. They don't ask questions. Fight! So we want to take a let now. Since we can't take Big Dude with us. Ooh. From both sides, huh?
some more armor. some armor. somebody. She was sad about it. the armor.
so great they just keep kind of dying <laughs> place together if all you had was like seven defenders and you thought you were gonna defend this whole place then you were fucked anyway The shorts. What? At least three clans in here warring over turf and food, and the worst of the godforsaken Varl. I was in charge here before things went to crap. <laughs> Fight for me and such a kind of frost feather. Two sides, too hard to know when the good guys have become the bad. Um, hmm. This is an interesting choice. 
choice. Because I don't really trust this guy. I don't know that he's the guy who should necessarily be in charge of Frost Alert. Because he seems like kind of a douchebag, but maybe everyone here who's in a position to lead the town is kind of a douchebag. <laughs> Join you for now. Making it up as we go. Yep, that's exactly it. Chapter three Little Did They Sleep. me to lead because Ognir is dead. Was happy about his buying his fighters using his own money. Taking on a lackey of his to watch over his property. A man named Eric. I met him. He seemed competent enough. to the prince on a mission of peace, the alliance would rot. You know what, if he wants to fight for his kingdom, good for him. The rich and privileged should get out there and fight for it too. I could crush that boy's skull with one hand. Sick of looking at this dump. Tell them to be cautious. Tell them we cover the mountainside and dredge bodies. Tell them we don't stop until Schlid is retaken. Tell them to be cautious. Everyone alive is a good thing. Scrivener leans back. Her 
Where did you wear tear? What are you putting in the in the journal? I write what happens. You want my opinion? I don't trust it. <laughs> Ubin don't trust the banners. you were a terror in your day. Dare I ask? <laughs> Crummer. Old son of a bitch still welcomes a fight. <laughs> what do you suppose happened to the sun? Gods, how should I know? to be in your position either. Half of them want to hit each other, the rest want to be left alone. This girl in red is scary too, Ursa. She's probably the best fighter than Scott, to be honest. Call her the witch. Varl is scared of fire. <laughs> Just afraid of her. Afraid of what they don't know. Story of humanity. Persecute what you don't know because you're afraid. <laughs> myself. <laughs> Slags. 
He was betrayed, obviously. Just happens sometimes, no big moment. I'm sure it surprised him even more than us. Though I have to wonder. Never mind. Don't never mind. You should wonder. Clearly something is off here. You worry about not doing something stupid. It's the kind of thing that gets stuck in your head. Say it. Found him, he was lying face down like he was struck from behind. Not looting. I suppose none of these guys have had any fights since before, huh? They're not going to be ready to level up. Dredge. No more than a dozen, though. Just as easily pass by as rush up there to slaughter them. Looting over my ears. It's a dozen dredge heading towards Strand, he says. You ask him when he started to care about Strand. I don't. I thought you did. Send some more ears. Hopefully they'll be able to catch back up to the caravan. We shall have to find some volunteers. Luden and his men are not asked. You return to travel. Gutted in your first encounter and ready for more. Yours, Kinder. Some sort of next of kin varl thing. <laughs>
on exertion. Gotten some characters with high exertion. Don't overlook this important step. Exertion lets you add more willpower to your actions. Want to add more than one star to your attack? Upgrading to three exertion lets you add three damage to every attack. Move three spaces further than usual. You got the willpower for it. Remember, each stat is equally important in combat. Choose wisely. Oh, I wonder if that's that green link stat that I wasn't sure what it was. That must be exertion. What's a Varl doing working for a Luton? Do me a favor, don't get Luton killed. Protected merchants for at least one man's lifetime. Can I trust you? out for myself and you'll figure it out. Luton doesn't even understand that half his army is here just to protect him from the people he talks to. So, right? He's mine. Varl and fire don't get along. Varl are afraid of fire. That's hilarious. This has been fun. I am a witch. I don't know what to make of it. She's cheeky. <laughs> Keep on keeping on. Over 
overhear a conversation while marching alongside the warriors, I happened to stomp some slags as much as the next Varl. I didn't join up to take orders from Hakan. Apparently he doesn't realize you're within earshot. Not willing to die for him either. Sorry, I don't know where that voice came from. <laughs> Presence now, but walk on. Uh, the Varl seemed to respond to a little, little show of force. It's, it's threatening. Fognir's dead. We can decide right now. That shot's not bad, but you had a lot worse. Grab him by the horns, swing his entire massive frame. Stone ahead, one tells you. Maybe an offering to Dengler, as one does. This expression turns. Dredge start appearing out of nowhere. Some of us stayed. Thought the Godstone would be safe, but damned if I know why. Been dodging them since we left. Ask if they have anything to trade. Not much. Value we left at the Godstone. Never seen this many far in one place before. Off to deal with those dredge. Pub with some supplies, many of them. Give them freely. Wife's brother stayed at the Godstone. You know him by a necklace with many gold rings. You see him, say we're safely in strength. I might see him, I don't know that telling him won't necessarily do any good because he might be dead. The caravan slows unexpectedly or travels down the line and to go to Dredge. All we saw is back at Vetterfell. Did their usual lurking. Could have been bad if we potted into them, but we saw them first. Dredge watching, waiting to see what you do. It's the last time you commanded a few hundred, Hakan. Don't overthink it. The warriors can take care of themselves. Oh, I get to do large scale battles too for all of War! When you come across more enemies than your party can handle, you'll engage in war. Give your army orders to fit the situation, but be prepared to get your own hands dirty too. By making battle easier for yourself, you'll end up with higher casualties, or you can take burden on yourself with a harder battle but save more lives. Whenever desperately outnumbered, it may be best to run before the battle completely. Dredge line the battlefield, weapon strong, the fight seems inevitable. Take a quick head count, there must be at least 498 of them. You have 185 fighters and 456 of all at your side. Even from here you can see nervous glances amongst the enemy ranks. This looks like a good chance to press your advantage. Consider taking your trusted allies and leading the charge. Better down the enemy. It will throw you into the thick of battle where fighting is most dangerous, for a strong charge can save lives. Let's do it.
let's see what that's like. Try the spear guy out, see how that works.